I'm just going to the lake. I'm glad I got my parking pass. Hey guys, welcome back to T10 Outdoors. Um, I'm super excited today because if you look over there, the lake is frozen. So uh, this is gonna be my first time ice fishing in 2020, 2021 season. Yeah, I just felt like this year passed by so quick and um, I feel so excited, man. Like I can't wait to get on there. Anyway, um, I don't know how thick the ice is, but I heard it's about seven inches at max so it's still considered thin ice but safe so um i got my ice pick over here in case i fall through and i got my ice chisel i'm gonna check the ice thickness as i go and yeah hopefully i found i find a good spot uh, to settle down and set up my camera gear and uh show some fish uh for you guys Alrighty, let's go So I just chiseled out a little hole here, just measuring the thickness with my hands. It's about that thick, that measuring board. So as you can see, oh, this way. So as you can see, let me do it again. So that's uh, six inches. Yeah, that's uh, it's not a lot of ice, but it's, I, I think it's safe ice. Yeah, we're gonna keep going. I got a contour map of this lake on my phone, so I'm gonna go to about, um, I don't know, 10 feet of water and uh, drop my transducer and see if there's any fish cruising by. So stay tuned. I think we're gonna set up here and drill some holes and get started. You see that? We're at 10 feet. Ah, there's nothing on the bottom. Maybe if I jig a little bit, I'll bring some fish in. Mm. Just good to be out here. Guys, look at the screen. We're here. We found them. There's one on the bottom. Guys, um, I think I found the school. 
if they're perched, my bait is too big. So I'm gonna switch bait and then hopefully, uh, hopefully put some fish on the ice for you guys to see. All right. Look at that. <laughs> Yellow perch. Too small, but that's my first fish of the ice fishing season. <laughs> Look at that perch. Beautiful. That's on the box shot. And I put a perch eyeball on there. Yeah. Alrighty. Take a last look. I'm gonna release it here. Alright, buddy. See ya. Uh, bring your mother here. <laughs> awesome. First fish. Nice. Woo. Oh. Alright. Good to go. So you guys saw I caught that last perch. It was really tiny. But well, then I was uh, marking a lot of fish actually in this area. So I decided to set up uh, the cameras. There's one here and there's one on the on the screen. I got I got a fish on bottom. You guys can probably see it. It's coming up to it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, separated. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, I really want to show a fish on camera. <laughs> Come here. Like I said, I ju I'm just using a buckshot jigging spoon uh, tip with a perch eye. And it seems to do the trick. Come on, fish. Let's come back again. Oh, this time. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Got a bite. Oh boy. Still there. I'm using a medium power rod. Should be using a, probably like a light, be better. You know, it's, it's not too bad. It's like, I don't know, minus five, no wind. It's really comfortable actually. I did not need to set up the shack. The screen is just lit up now. I'll drop back down to the mud, to the sand, whatever it is. I don't know the bottom. Oh, my line's frozen. I'm using just a normal braid. I haven't bought that ice braid yet. I'm just gonna pound the bottom, pound, pound the mud, pound the sand, stir up the bottom. And then after a few pounds, pounding, <laughs> I lift up and, oh man, this guy, I think he's gonna eat it, come on. When you lift up, the fish from bottom just follow you up. Oh, this one's gonna eat it. Oh, don't be shy. Oh, oh you see that? I oh, got a bite. Hopefully it's still there. Such a light bite. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's a red mark. Come on. And my line's all frozen up. There's so many fish, I can't catch one. <laughs> Do I still have bait on the hook? Maybe that's why. I still got an eyeball. Got an eyeball. On the spoon, this is what I'm using. They're definitely interested in that eyeball. Okay, let me grab the eyeball jig. I think I got a fish, guys. Yes, got a fish. It's wrapped. I think he's a pike. Goodness. This way. Oh. No, 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 no. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> it's a 
a big one. Guys, this is a big one. Hopefully I don't lose it. It's a pike. Gotta be careful at the hole. I don't lose it. There we go, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that fish. Wow. First size. Today is November 21st, I believe. Six, seven inches of ice at Buffalo Pound. Um, caught a perch. And this is my second fish. Not a big one, but yeah, I haven't caught him for, I don't know, two hours. Look at this pike. <laughs> I'm gonna take the hook out. Oh, guys, take a one last look. Northern pike on Buffalo Pound. I'm gonna release it. Cold. Mm. Come on. Oh yeah, I think it's ready to go. There we go. Oh. Awesome. Okay guys, it's about, I don't know, it's getting dark. It's getting cold. So, I think we're gonna pack it up and go home. Um, it wasn't a crazy day, but I, I caught a perch, caught a pike, all captured on camera. And uh, it's still early ice, I mean. I've never fished this lake before. And I'm hoping to get out to, I don't know, Last Mountain Lake or Pasco or Echo in the future. So uh, stay tuned. Alrighty, stay safe and uh, go out and do ice fishing.